Hey everyone, this is Mr. Ad Oreo again, helping you fight your today for your better tomorrow. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can avoid tutorial purgatory or this infinite loop of um, signing up for our tutorials or like online courses and never getting out and actually getting a job. So first tip, set a timeline. You want to set a timeline for when you're going to sign up and start the course when you're gonna finish and when you're gonna produce some sort of tangible results in the form of a project or something else like a collaborative project with um, another developer. Number two, I mean, I kind of talked about it in the first point, but it's setting those tangible outcomes, right? Or deliverables. And it doesn't have to be limited to just projects. It could be, like I mentioned, it could be your own personal project or it can be a group collaborative project with other developers. Um, that's probably better, like simulating an actual agile development environment, working with teams, that's probably really great. Or it could be um, just the amount of questions that you complete on lead code or hacker rank. Another thing that you want to aim for is a date where you wanna have some sort of MVP portfolio. And my advice on having a good working portfolio is do not invent the wheel from scratch. Look at other like developers portfolio or just look online for some sort of template and use one that fits your skill set at that time. Like look at a portfolio where you look at the code base and you understand it because you're gonna use it, make a clone of it um, and basically make it a template and then customize it to your own liking and adapt it to your own um, situation. And a portfolio is super important because it differentiates you from the next candidate, right? For the most part, um, based on my like understanding of how my developer friends got through jobs, like they, I mean, they came from a computer science background, but they, when they apply for jobs, like some of them don't even use a portfolio. And this is usually probably more relevant for people who are back-end engineers. They just use a resume and they go on on-site and they just do a whiteboard or coding exercise and they're done. But for the majority of people, especially for people who are self-taught, trying to change their career and jump into software development, a portfolio is a must because it differentiates you from the bunch and it also lists out all your achievements and hard work in that um, portfolio page. Another tip that I recommend is use the service called Calendly. It's basically uh, a free app where you can sign up and Calendly allows you to um, use a hyperlink or use a URL to give to someone to schedule um, meetings directly on your calendar without having to like call them, email them to coordinate a time that works out. And this is super powerful. When you combine the power of Calendly and your portfolio, your portfolio will act or advocate for you 24 hours seven. So when you add that um, embedded Calendly link inside your portfolio, there'll be like a, a, a box where someone can pick um, specific days and times where they wanna have a meeting with you when you're free. And then that's just basically, you know, your portfolio doing the hard work for you and you just wake up one day and you're just like happy that you got a meeting and you start preparing for it. And the next step will be applying for jobs. But I wanna kinda of backtrack and talk about timeline again, right? So when you're learning, when you're taking these online courses and um, the danger is like you might be in this perpetual cycle of taking courses, you wanna set great timelines um, in, in quarter systems, like how businesses would do it, right? And then the most um, useful framework that I use in terms of managing my time and, and goals in general will be like the OKR framework where you have four quarters in a year and then you have that as your like base. Then within each quarter, there's three months. Then you start getting more granular and then you plan what you're trying to, what you're planning to accomplish in the three months into one month, into weeks, into days. And then when it comes to applying for jobs, same similar strategy, you're gonna apply the OKR framework, objectives and key results. Your objective will be to apply for jobs. Key results will be, I'm gonna apply for 100 software developer jobs by the end of Q3 2019. Something very simple like that. And then on a weekly basis, you would just update how many jobs that you applied for. And lastly, when all hope 
when all else fails, or not fails, but when you're getting um, discouraged from just taking courses, doing the things that I've mentioned, right? Going through these cycles of learning project deliverables, but you're not getting traction, you might want to consider joining a career accelerator program. So these are the three career accelerator programs that I considered when I was in my job search. First was um, this company called Chingu, which is basically, which basically allows you to um, pair up with other developers and work on a collaborative um, project, which is really cool. And Chingu has three tiers. So you can start basically at any um, developer skill set level that you have. Like the first tier is just HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Second tier will be adding some sort of modern framework like React. And the third tier will be building a full stack um, web app. Next, um, I would recommend leveraging this other company called Hatchways. I had an opportunity to have an inf informational interview with one of the co-founders, uh, Jacqueline Lin, Ling. And basically Hatchway is a career accelerator program for anyone who might be a recent college grad, someone who's trying to switch careers. It's an accelerator that helps them um, get assessed get get assessments on our skills um, prep up for interviews and then um, join like interview or like team project um, stages and then slowly move into like interview rounds where they pair you up with you know a pre-selected amount of startups or companies are willing to hire you know interns or like junior developers and then this you know, program helps facilitate, facilitate all that, which is really awesome. And lastly, you might wanna consider this program called Alco. They're essentially a five week um, computer science fundamentals or data structures and algorithm um, program. And their whole goal is to help you out um, with that last segment of your software developer um, skill set, right? The first one will be like the pragmatic skills of like, understanding a program language. Second will be like working with a framework. Third will be actually interviewing that, that skill set. So they help you out with the latter part, which is um, doing whiteboard interviews, technical phone screens, and just working and solving these data, structure, data structures and algorithm questions that you'll see on LeetCode and HackerRank. And they provide um, three tiers of payment. One is deferment. You only pay when you get a job. That's usually the most costier. And then um, there's a middle one where you're paying semi upfront and then also when you get a job. And then the last one is you pay like I think $5,000 upfront. And that's all I have for this video on how to, how to prevent yourself from staying in um, tutorial purgatory or an infinite loop of taking online courses. And to recap, it's all about um, setting goals, right? And being disciplined in achieving those goals. Um, and then I love the saying, I think I made it up, but maybe I got inspiration from someone else, but I define success as when opportunity and preparation meet. So when you're, and then in this video, we're talking about the hardships of preparation, right? Where you're over preparing and not taking the right amount of action, but you want, in this video, it helps you, I'm trying to help you overcome just being stagnant in preparation and actually going out to try to find those opportunities to, you know, showcase what you prepared for. So hopefully this video was helpful and, you know, add oil, find that job.